Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMore. Today we have an interesting problem. We have 4 to the power 58 times 25 to the power 61. Of course, this is a really huge number. We have a really big power, so if we raise it, we will have a huge number, and we multiply this, we will have a really huge number as well. But I want to show you how to solve this real quick. So first of all, we need to know about the rule. So take a look, we'll write this as 4 to the power 58. And let's write this 61 as 58 plus 3. This power let's write as 58 plus 3. What we'll have times 25 to the power 58 plus 3. So we just write this 61 as 58 plus 3. And take a look, we need to know the rule under this under this element. I write the rule. If we have a to the power x plus y, we can write it as a to the power x times a to the power y. So Let's use this rule. We have a equal 25, x 58, and y equal to 3. Of course, we can use this rule. So what we'll have? We will have this 4 to the power 58 will be the same. And let's multiply this by 25 to the power 58. And let's multiply this by 25 to the power third. 25 cube. So we just use this rule and just separate this separate this power. What are we going to do next? We need to know the rule, because right here we have same powers. And moreover, we can write it as 4 times 25 to the power 58. So if we have same powers, but different bases, and of course if we have a product, you can write it in one parenthesis, so as a result we will have this product parenthesis and all raised to the power 58. So the rule is a to the power x times a to the power b, we can write it, or different rule, we can write it as 100 to the power 58 and times 25 cube. Times 25 cube. So let's simplify this. Let's simplify this a little bit. Take a look what we'll have. We'll have 100 to the power 58. We can write this 100 as 10 square raised to the power 58. This is our first element. We simplify this. And let's simplify 25 cube. If we multiply this 25 by 25 by 25, we will have 625 times 25. We will have that this we need to multiply by 15,625. And take a look. This is a really good case because right here we need to multiply this 10 by 58. We will have that we have 10 to the power 116 and times 15,625. What are you going to do next? Of course we we may not simplify this, but it's really good case to move this dot right here, for example, if we write this element as 1.5625, we need to add 4, 4 digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, to this power, and we need to multiply this by 10 to the power 120. So as you can see, we find exactly the value of this at this product because we'll have this element times 120 zeros. So we'll have a really huge number and we find exactly what the value it will be equal to. So if you still have any question, write your question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you so much for watching, write your question in the comment and see you in the next videos.